Welcome back, fight fans. Get ready for an adrenaline-fueled ride as we dive deep into the electrifying world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. In today's video, we'll be covering Flow Grappling's Who's Number One event that took place in the heart of Oklahoma City. The event had two main cards on the table for viewers. We saw two of the finest grapplers around, Nicolas Marigali and Pedro Mourinho face off against each other. Another thrilling matchup featured the legendary Rafael Lovato Jr. taking on Elder Cruz. In this video, we will discuss both matchups and bring you the full results from the action-packed night. Let's get into the main card where we had Nicolas Marigali versus Pedro Mourinho, arguably the most anticipated fight of the night. Before the fight, both Marigali and Mourinho commanded attention as highly skilled and accomplished competitors. Marigali, the reigning IBJJF Absolute World Champion, was returning to the gi competition scene after a period of focusing on no gi training with the esteemed John Danaher and the New Wave team. Mourinho, the Tezos WNO light heavyweight no gi champion, carried his own impressive accolades and had proven himself to be a formidable opponent. The main event between Marigali and Mourinho, therefore, was a clash of titans. Known for his incredible ability to get to the back and finish, Marigali showcased a more calculated approach in this fight. His work with John Danaher and the New Wave team was evident as he displayed improved top pressure and control, utilizing solid pinning positions to force Mourinho into defensive postures. Marigali's technical prowess and precise transitions allowed him to secure a submission victory over his esteemed opponent. His collaboration with John Danaher and the New Wave team proved to be a pivotal factor in his victory. Under Danaher's guidance, Marigali has refined his skills, enhancing his already formidable repertoire. The strategic insights and technical systems imparted by Danaher provided him with a significant advantage. This collaboration has also allowed Marigali to approach his matches with a more calculated and methodical style, leading to his dominance in the fight against Mourinho. After his impressive victory, Marigali humbly acknowledged Pedro Mourinho's skills and commended him as a tough opponent. However, he then seized the opportunity to call out another top-tier competitor in the division, expressing his desire to face Felipe Pena in a future clash. This call-out emphasized Marigali's ambition to prove himself against the very best and solidify his position at the pinnacle of BJJ. With his convincing win over Mourinho and his sights set on challenging Felipe Pena, Marigali's future in BJJ remains highly promising. More than that though, he also claimed that he would be willing to bet $20,000 of his own money on the outcome of the match. It's a bold and calculated move to face off against the winner of the absolute division at the IBJJF World Championship. And this also serves as a statement to solidify his position at the pinnacle of the sport. Marigali's confidence was further highlighted by his choice to spray a triangle onto the back of his gi, symbolizing his prediction for the outcome of the match. He confirmed in his post-fight interview that this was a nod to the predictions that his teammate Gordon Ryan made in previous matches. That's my prediction on my back. So I know the envelope, something cool, but I have to upgrade Gordon's style to give you prediction. This is why I'm tight on my back, so Triago. And right now he has to step up as well. You know, just keep doing, doing the work. That was when Nicholas Marigali mentioned the upcoming 2023 edition of the IBJJF World Championship and publicly made his wager for a match on the next WNO event. We have a random tournament happening in two weeks. Uh, we have uh, a random tournament happening in two, in two weeks and apparently we're gonna have a new open class champion and I'm betting right now $20,000 to fight against the next open class champion here at who's number one stage. So when you win your tournaments, against your random fighters. So come over here and then we can figure who is the king of the gi, right? Naturally, $20,000 is a lot of money to put on the line for most people and particularly in a sport where the athletes don't tend to make a whole lot of money in the first place. Marigali addressed that too and he seemed confident that whoever his opponent is, they should be able to make it work. Um, they're gonna try to find some businessmen to bet for them because Definitely they don't want to lose uh, uh, $20,000, but it is what it is. I think Flow Grappling can help them to put some money on the table. It remains to be seen whether Flow Grappling can organize something so big, but this is a matchup that's sure to catch the eye of every BJJ and grappling fan out there. It's a risky yet rewarding move for all parties involved. Marigali's hunger for competition and his determination to test himself against the elite 
make him a compelling figure to watch in the coming months. In another compelling matchup, BJJ Black Belt and former Bellator MMA middleweight champion Rafael Lovato Jr. returned to the competition scene. Facing off against Elder Cruz, Lovato Jr. aimed to make a statement with his comeback. Both fighters showcased their technical prowess and resilience throughout the match. Lovato Jr., known for his well-rounded skills and precise techniques, displayed his grappling dominance in the fight against Cruz. Despite his hiatus from competition due to health-related reasons, Lovato Jr. showed no signs of rustiness. He skillfully maneuvered through the exchanges, ultimately seizing an opportunity to transition to Cruz's back and secure a tight rear naked choke. This victory marked Lovato Jr.'s successful return to the competition scene, setting the stage for potential future triumphs. Following his win, Lovato Jr. expressed his joy at being back on the competition mats after a health-related hiatus. The crowd was thrilled to witness his triumphant return and his continued pursuit of excellence in the sport. Additionally, other matches throughout the Tezos WNO 18 card delivered thrilling moments and captivating displays of skill, solidifying the event's reputation as a premier showcase of top-tier BJJ talent. Among the post-fight moments, Isaac Michel, who displayed excellent guard passing skills in his victory over Jacob Couch, wasted no time in calling out Pedro Mourinho, expressing his eagerness to face him in a future matchup. Dante Leon, known for his dynamic style, called out top competitors such as Matthias Gabriel and Oliver Taza, showcasing his desire to compete against the best and prove his worth on the grand stage. You can see the full results on Flow Grappling's website. Tezos WNO18 also delivered a night of unforgettable moments and showcased the immense talent within the world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Nicolas Marigali's triumphant return, bolstered by his collaboration with John Danaher, was just one moment from the overall success that BJJ and Grappling R is currently having. Rafael Lovato Jr.'s victorious comeback set the stage for potential championship aspirations. With post-fight callouts from various fighters, the BJJ community eagerly awaits the announcement of future matchups that promise to be intense and captivating. The event overall reaffirmed the incredible skill and passion within the BJJ world, leaving fans eager for the next chapter in this captivating journey. And that concludes our WNO recap video for today. What was your favorite moment from the main event? Let us know in the comments section below.